In today's van camping adventure, I contemplate having a poo in a bin, me and Matty hide from some drunk teenagers, and then we end up camping right next to a nuclear power station. But first, you join me waking up in some random car park in Anglesey. And Matty there, talking to a neighbour. Good morning from a random car park in Anglesey. Bloody good night last night. For anyone who watched the previous video, last week's video, when we first crossed the Menai Bridge into Anglesey, last night was a little bit troubled because we had a couple of, uh, how can I say it, um, blokes that had one too many parked over there in the corner. Thankfully, this morning, they've now gone. Although they were a bit loud in the middle of the night. Um, nothing significant enough to bring you guys back towards the end of last week's video, but uh, I think there were two brothers and let's just say that um, I think they liked a good argument after they've had a good drink. <laughs> Whether they were punching each other's lights out last night, I don't know, but there were certainly some uh, raised voices and some curse words. But wherever those uh, two gentlemen are now, now they've sobered up, I hope you haven't killed each other and you enjoy the rest of your trip. <laughs> so what's the plan today? Well, we're gonna get some breakfast on the go. We're also gonna be heading off towards the north side of the island, or should I say the north side of Anglesey. Uh, got to get all this bed set back all into living mode again and put it back into sofa mode. But yeah, let's... Uh... Whoa, my goodness, Jesus! <laughs> scared the absolute life out of me! <laughs> my God! <laughs> Good morning, mate! <laughs> So for anyone new who didn't watch last week's video, or maybe new to the channel possibly, this is Matty. He likes to, uh, I was going to say he likes to lick windows, but <laughs> I'm going to say that's a bit uh, anti-PC. Scare the bejeebas out of Yeah, me. scare the bejeebas, that's right, yeah. So, you're looking forward to some breakfast? Yes. On the menu this morning is a, a nice fresh bacon and egg bap, nice. cooked in the Ridge Monkey, uh, and a nice hot cup of tea. Do you nice. want a cup of tea or do you want a hot chocolate? I'll have a cup of tea, please. All right, get your mug, let's get a cup of tea on the go. Hey, I tell you what. I forgot to tell your audience yesterday, and I've just managed to save myself. What's that? You know, I said to you last week that I forgot something. I forgot a second. I forgot two pairs of socks. Oh, so you've got one pair of socks for the whole trip? No, I've got two pairs of socks for the entire trip. Okay. But I've saved myself because you can wash your socks. Right. Very very easy. And I've just done it. You've just washed your socks yes. in the back of your car? Yes. Okay, how did you do that then? Right, so easy way to do it, very, very easy. There's two methods. So the first method is by using a washing up bowl, putting in a little bit of washing up liquid, putting some water in, dip, your, dip the socks in the washing up liquid, rinse them out really, really well, and then putting them in the back of your car. They dry in the sun and in the, in the air. And they smell like fairy liquid. And they smell like fairy liquid. <laughs> but they're clean. They are clean. Okay. The second way is what I've just done, which is, is, is that you Dipping take- in the sea? No. You, tip, you, you get hold of a, a load of baby wipes. Yeah and you basically go in throughout the inside as well as the outside and you give them a wash uh, give them practically a wipe over dry them and then they're in the book and then they're now on the where, did you, shelf where did you learn these methods from well my mum told me about the, so the soap and the other one was online okay okay so is that a method that you guys have used before if you're on the road and you're in a bit of a pickle do you use uh, baby wipes or wet wipes to um stuff inside your socks and and bring them out is that was that what you did bring them out dry them out yeah <laughs> so i've just been uh, talking to matt while we've been sitting on sipping on our tea and i said how do you pronounce that word? <laughs> Talking about a, uh, a recent adventure we did with Steve. Um, and he said, uh, you said something, and you said, yeah, it was it was by the Viagra duct. Yeah. <laughs> can I just, the Viagra duct! Can, can, I, can I just point out something, right? <laughs> what, what, what is it, tea dips and tip biscuits? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we've both been here this morning, yeah. I don't know if it was because we've had a... Uh, a lack of sleep, I don't feel I have, but it's a bit slow in the morning. We're, yeah. we're saying we're going to dip our tea in our biscuits and all that kind of crap. 
But yeah. yeah <laughs> Matt, twice. Matt in his Viagra duct and me and my uh, tipping tea and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> We've changed the plan slightly. We're not going to cook up breakfast here. We think it'd be a bit of a shame, actually. I mean, this is a nice little spot to be able to get your head down for the night, have a quiet night. There was no boy races last night, was there? No, it was, Which was nice you know, and quiet. Thankful for that, really. Um, so we decided actually we're going to drink our teas, then we're going to move on to another spot that we've just uh, checked out on park for night. Um, it should be right on a beach, which isn't too far from here. And I think that'll be a nice place to cook up some breakfast. So we've got our tea in our bellies. I'll probably get the drone up and see what shots are about. And then we'll head off to our first beach of the day. We'll cook up some bacon and egg baps. happens every time. Bloody drawers have come out again. I forgot to clip them on. Oh yes. I think this will do for breakfast just nicely. Look at this. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is good. I mean, I'm so glad we moved to have breakfast. Yes. <laughs> it was a great. good plan by both of us. It was, it was, mate. You got a ship there in the distance there. Can you see that? I was just saying to people, right, that this really highlights the benefit of either having a car camper or a small van. Absolutely. Because we wouldn't have got in here. No. If we'd have had a motorhome or a high top van. You would have been finished. Mate, that was the limit. That was scraping on the aerial, but we yeah. did it. We got in here. Give me a high five, buddy. Mate. What a great place to have breakfast. Mate, brilliant. Oh. Absolutely brilliant. Oh. We've got a picnic table. We've got a bin here to put our rubbish in. And this view, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, this is a good time to mention, because I've been thinking about this on this trip, how We've talked about washing. We've talked about you know, the difficulties of washing and using wet wipes and etc. And you know, obviously last night going to the campsite. But how am I going to go to the toilet on this journey? We're eating a lot of food, right? Now going for a number one for a bloke is easy enough. You wang it out anywhere as long as no one's looking, and uh, you know you, you sprinkle the plants. But when it comes to actually going for a number two, I've got a little bit of a porta potty in the in the back of the van here that I haven't used yet. But there's, well, I will be using it on this trip. It's, it's inevitable. I can't, I can't go four days. Um, so I've been thinking, how am I going to do this? So we've obviously got a bin here. So I think I just put me bum in the bin. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke, by the way. No, but I think uh, using um, responsible waste bags and stuff and being able to, I don't know, can you, can you put like, I don't know what the camper van etiquette is. I know like obviously people with fully fledged camper vans and motorhomes, they go to their, what do they call them? Elson points, don't they? Yeah. Where they put it in the ground and you know, it's little, chemical. yeah, like you can have yeah. a chemical to whatever it could be. Yeah. But what do people do in vans this size? I mean, the only thing I can think of is bagging it and binning it. I mean, that's that's the only real thing that's going to be that's possible it, in a van yeah. that size, isn't it? I, I know, so, I know that, that that you can also put it in the dog litter. Okay, okay. That's one place you can. Okay. And to be honest with you, for anybody that says dog crap and human crap is different, it really isn't. It's still crap. Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. You know. Well, it depends what you had the night before. If it was a steak, it's very different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, breakfast, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm, you know when I. Like, you look on Instagram, mm. and sometimes people put those comparisons. Mm. Instagram and then real life. Mm -hmm. We're really living that actual Instagram dream. Yeah. You know, and don't get me wrong, I don't, you know, long to look at Instagram and look and go, oh my God, I need that. But it's moments like this, but that really is reality. You're sat here, you're making a hot drink, a cup of tea, some bacon egg baps, we're gonna get the air fryer on the go in a minute, get some chips on the go. It just doesn't get much better than that. And that is one hell of an incredible view. It's gorgeous, Absolutely. it's gorgeous. And this spot where we're at right now, is completely free. Absolutely. No charge for this car park.
That could mean chips. It does. Chips are ready. Your egg is also ready. Yeah. All right, bring me your bap. Bring me those baps. Bring me those baps to me. Let me just. I said, bring it close. Bring it real close. You got it. You there? Close as I can get. There you are, my friend. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that will do. Okay, mate. Now, are you a brown sauce man or a red sauce sauce man? That's a disgusting question. We don't allow that filth on this channel. It's always been red sauce for me. Has it? Mm -hmm. You've always been a red sauce don't like, man. Don't like red. Don't like brown sauce. So. Okay. Tried it. Didn't like it. You tried a bit of brown, did you? Mm -hmm. You didn't like it. No. Well, I've learned something new about you today, mate. A late breakfast slash early lunch is served. Mm. Mm. It doesn't get much better than that, you know. Just like magic, all cleared away and nice and tidy. Okay, off to Ben Lek. Let's go explore Red Wharf Bay and see what Ben Lek has to offer. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Goodbye from this beautiful spot. I'll definitely come back here again. As I mentioned before, what three words down here? You want to explore it? Has got a height barrier though. No big motorhomes or camper vans. This size or smaller, you'll get in and it's free. So yeah, say goodbye to the boats and the sea. And let's continue our journey north up in Anglesey. How's the thermals, as Dalboy would say? Thermals? <laughs> The thermals? <laughs> you never seen that scene? No. Only falls and horses? No. Dell on the cliff edge? Oh yeah. You never seen that with the glider? Yeah. How's the thermals up there? Is <laughs> that the car phone I can hear, Rodney? <laughs> you never seen that? I have not. Oh my goodness. Uh, it must have been oh an my goodness. I've we ain't got a car phone, Dell. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to watch it, mate. Go yeah, on, you'll have to absolutely. Watch it. That's one of my favourite scenes, Only Falls and Horses. Oh. How is it though? What's the wind like? All right. Uh, a bit shaky. A bit okay. shaky. Okay. But it's not all too right. bad. No, it's not too bad. If anyone's got any history or information on Red Wharf Bay, um, what is the attraction to it? There's loads of beautiful spots along the coast of Anglesey. Why is this one so synonymous with tourists? I do apologise about the engine noise in the background, but uh, yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what uh, Red Wharf Bay is all about and kind of what the history is, etc. We got some ships here as well. Uh, ships, boats, <laughs> boats. <laughs> they're, they're very small ships. <laughs> yeah. Unlike the one we saw. Yeah, I mean that, those are ta those are tiddlers. <laughs> yeah, Dougal, they're small cows. So they're just far <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh dear, that's another one you've come out with now. Yeah. Oh, I love a good British sitcom. Me, not today's lark, mind. Give it about thirty years ago. That was the best stuff. That's a little walk along Red Wharf Bay. As I said before, if anyone's got any info on Red Wharf Bay, history or modern day knowledge, leave a comment below. Right, we're exploring uh, the town of Ben Lek now, is it, mate? Go for it. If that's how it's pronounced, on our way to Ben Lek. Now, what's the bet in? We're going to have to pay at least 20p for a poo. So, this must be the coastal part of Ben Lek. Right, okay, so here's the car park. This is why it's a little bit more expensive, I think. No overnight camping. Uh. Well spotted with the shade? Yes, I thought so. Right, is it poo time? No. <laughs> <laughs> he won't admit it on camera. <laughs> What's the prices here then, mate? Look at the way he's walking. It's definitely poo time. <laughs> so I've just been looking at this parking sign, right? Vehicle only, which is what I am. Up to an hour, a pound. Up to two hours, three pound. 
up to four hours, six pound. The only one in where you actually save any money is by paying up to 12 hours, 10 pound. So why would I pay for two hours at three pound when I can pay for an hour at one pound and just top it up again after an hour and save myself a pound? Why would anyone do that? Well, this is our first proper touristy beach of the trip, isn't it? It is. I've been to a couple of places they are a little bit more secluded. This is the proper kind of touristy, got people on the beach sunbathing, you've got the tents out. This is the first place that we've been to that's kind of like a tourist hotspot. Yes. Or a tourist trap, that's what they call it. Yes. Tourist trap, that's it. So, um, anyone been to Benlec? Leave a comment below. Let me know if this is uh, all there is to see. Is there a little town? Because we thought initially, looking on the map, before we came, when we were thinking, oh, maybe I might stop there, we thought that Benlec might have been a bit of a town, didn't we? Mm. A couple of shops here and there, maybe a local... Uh, bakery to get an ice cream cake or something mm. but uh i mean from what we've seen so far this looks like it yeah we could, Ooh, the club could be a little bit up there it looks more holiday parkish doesn't it yeah anyone been to benlec leave a comment I'll tell you what this is a nice beach this it reminds me of a few places in europe greece possibly Beautiful little cove. Benlec Beach. You can hear the drongos in the distance behind. That's the only thing that spoils it a bit, isn't it? Yeah. But apart from that, it's, uh, you could be anywhere, couldn't you? I think it's the real of Anglesey. No, this is nothing like real, mate. This is, this is a nice beach. But yeah, lovely place to bring the family, I think. Come back in the height of summer, get a bit of a tan, mm. put a bit of the old, uh, what's it, SPF 15 uh, suntan oil on. Oh, yeah. You know? Grow a mustache, smoke a cigar, smoking jacket on the beach. <laughs> That's a what? joke. That's a joke. What are we in the sand for France? <laughs> After a relaxing walk along the beach, we made our way out of Benlec in search of the nearest Aldi, but not before a pesky seagull tried to take out the drone. Hey, <laughs> the highlight of the trip. Forget the beaches, forget the scenic views. This may be, I think actually, it quite possibly is actually, the only Aldi on the whole of Anglesey. So enjoy it while it's here, ladies and gents. This is it. The one and only place where they can get the Aldi special aisles. Matty didn't fancy using that tracing paper that he found at the public toilets to wipe his ass again for his next number two, so uh, he needs to stock up on some toilet roll. <laughs> I wonder if all the Aldi stuff in Anglesey tastes like the Aldi stuff on the mainland. What do There's you think? a high chance of that. Do you reckon? <laughs> Chocolate eclairs, what's the day? 29th, 29th. Any better ones at the back? 29th. Okay, that'll do. You know what's always nice in Aldi? When you have a couple of items and you get some kind gentleman or lady who says, you go ahead, go on. You're gonna be here for ages otherwise. You go ahead, go ahead of me and get out of the shop quick. It's nice that, it's nice. Doesn't always happen. I always find that I think that happens the most in Aldi. Not a lot of Aldis have self-service. So when you've only got a couple of items, it's just nice to have someone to go, yeah, go ahead of me. Okay, off to our park up for the night. We've got about 11 mile route to the north of Anglesey. Got a beautiful park up we're going to scope out. I'm not quite sure the name of it now, but uh, when we get there, I'll give you the what three words. See what it's like. Um, I think there's a sign up saying no overnight camping, but apparently on park for night, it's not policed that strictly. So uh, we'll see how lucky we are. We're going to wing it on this one. Another stealth one tonight. Let's hit the road. This is our spot for the night. What do you reckon, mate? I'm happier now I'm back, but yes. it's a nice view. It's beautiful, look at that. Did you not see the copper mine? I did see, yeah, we drove past the copper mine. Um, what was that town called that we drove through? Am, Am, look, Am, Amalwick? I think so, yeah. Something like that, anyway. Um, someone uh, let us know below what we drove through. But yeah, it's a cop copper mine town or yeah. the copper museum or something. But yeah, driving past along the side, I didn't get it on camera. 
but you could see like the copper flecks yes. in like the soil, couldn't you? It was yeah. quite unique actually. But yeah, what a fantastic view to spend the rest of the evening. It's, not, it's ironic actually. I think it's worth going for a little wander, you know? Yeah. I think it's worth parking up, going for a little wander. There's no restrictions here, is there? No. Hang on, hang on a minute. Hang on. No, that's, uh, yeah. Oh, stuff. please do not feed the horses, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay, it. Then. Hey, do you know something? You know that string on that fence there? Yeah. Go and touch it. I know what it is. <laughs> it's electric. It's electric. After trying with all my might, I couldn't get Matty to touch that fence, but we did find a nice little walking route down to the coast. Oh my. How long have we been walking? Two minutes? Yeah. It's well worth a little jaunt, wasn't it? Look at that. Oh mate, I tell you what, although we're back at the vans or the car, should I say, when it does, but what a great place to watch a sunset that would be. Yeah. It seems to be a local hotspot for the youth. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think we'll be watching a sunset here later on. We <laughs> might see some uh, pills popping and, you know, WKDs being sunk. We don't want to want to be that. <laughs> we don't want to see that, do we? <laughs> Engaging in poppers. <laughs> No, 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 I didn't say that. <laughs> what have you been doing in your youth, mate? Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, yeah, what an absolutely incredible view. See, I actually drove past a holiday village or an advertisement for a holiday village as a, a cottage or a getaway cabin. Mm. They said from £249,000. Who the flipping hell pays 200 whatever, £49,000 Quarter of a million pounds, basically, for a chalet. People from London, mate. That too. You got it. Southerners, southern money, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they sell a one bedroom flat for 2.4 million, yep. they will go ahead and buy a holiday cabin for a quarter of a million quid. Now, my only concern is, right, obviously, with those young hoodlums that we passed when they gave us some very rough directions because they were a bit half cut, bless them. We can't let anyone know where we're staying for the night. Yeah. So I tell you something, there's nothing worse than teenagers pissed up if they know where you are. Yeah. You won't get a wink of sleep all night, mate. Be fright. Be we've fright. both been teenagers. You know, we've both been there. So uh, we need to be wise. We need to keep our location low key. Get in the van quick, get the stir fry on, because we're having stir fry tonight. And uh, yeah, just be quick and snappy about it, you know? Ooh. Are they there? Well, they're coming up. Are they? Right, so this is going to sound quite sad by a lot of people, actually. Um, and I'm sure the uh, the macho men out there are going to be like, Oh, you're about, oh, just give me a money, knock around the ear, I'll be fine. Oh, you're whatever. whatever. But uh, basically, what we're trying to do at the moment. <laughs> I feel like a schoolboy again, actually, trying to hide from the other neighborhood kids, mm -hmm. right? But, um, so basically, there's a group of teenagers down the cove. They called it the cove, didn't they? Yeah, when we asked for the directions, they said, oh yeah, we, we, it's down the cove there. Anyway, so they're down by a place called the cove. Um, the one thing that we don't want tonight, we're both a bit tired now, aren't we? Mm. We're hungry, we were gonna cook a stir fry, we're now not going to cook a stir fry because that takes a bit longer to cook than a couple of burgers does. So we're going to have a couple of burgers tonight, parked up on this little lay by here, and uh, see if we can get some food in our bellies. But the one thing that we're concerned about is there keeps coming like a steady stream of school leavers coming up from that little path there that we walk down. And the last thing that we want tonight, because I'm thinking the mentality now of a teenager. Oh, there's campers up there, mate. Oh yeah, you know, we'll have a couple of drinks and then we'll go, you know, mess with them, basically. We don't want that. It's not that we're... Gonna, if I say that I'm not, then it sounds like I am. Basically, we're not scared of what they're going to do to us. We're two blokes. But we just don't want to be disturbed in the night. Oh, shit. Get in. That's what I thought. I think so. Well, we just Right, so just as we get into the van... Keep your head down, keep your head down. Yeah, There's a load of kids outside the van, basically, but they don't know we're in here. Obviously, I'm not gonna start filming kids from the van, because that's just all kinds of wrong. But uh, basically, I've still got my boots on, my toes by Matty's bollock at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. They're definitely off cut. What are you thinking about this spot? 
Mate, uh, what are you thinking? We've literally picked a teenage dogging spot, haven't we? <laughs> Literally, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, but yeah, this is, yeah. They're, 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 we've qu- graduated high school. Quick, let's lose our V plates and get drunk. <laughs> oh god, oh. someone else coming now. Oh, for fuck's sake! Right, right, okay, right, okay. There is a steady stream of kids, basically walking up and down past the van. Um, all the time. We ain't going to be able to cook dinner inconspicuously. No. You know, not the way we want to do it. We want to have a bit of a laugh. We want to, you know, have a bit of... We want, we don't, we want, you need to open the windows as well. Yeah. For ventilation. We can't, yeah. we can't stay here. Oh, okay. We've got, we've got to move on. We've got can't to move on. Yeah, we've got to move on. Tonight, do you know what? We have about a 20% chance of getting away with it tonight and having a good night's sleep and waking up with a beautiful view. But we have an 80% chance of just having a bit of trouble tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Alrighty, Matty's going to get down from the prone position and uh, we're going to have a look at park for night and see what else is about. There was a couple of other places, wasn't there? If I remember rightly, when we last looked. Mm. Um, but this is the one place we looked at because it's on the coast and we've got this beautiful view. So I'll join you back in a bit once we've chosen another spot for the night. You know, moments like that really highlight to me the freedom that a van gives you. Can you imagine if you're at some kind of campsite, you're camped up right next to a group of teenagers? I'm not saying all teenagers are bad, by the way. We were all once teenagers, weren't we? But uh, yeah, to have a van, get in the driver's seat, turn the ignition on, just drive away. It's um, a good feeling, actually. So we're off to our next spot. Now, this next spot that we're going to apparently is right by a nuclear power station or what once was a nuclear power station. A couple of reviews on Park for Night, one of them suggested that the nuclear police came the night before and the morning after their camp. Didn't mention that they bothered them though, so uh, maybe there's kind of like a, a leniency to it as long as you're behaving yourself. This was the right choice. This was the right choice. We're at home now, mate. We've got some neighbors, you know? This is safe. Just don't breathe in too heavy, you'll be fine. <laughs> We're right by a nuclear power station. <laughs> Did you notice the horse on the way in with two heads? I, 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 yeah, I was, I, I, I'm thinking Mr. Burns and, you know, and all that. <laughs> just heard a pheasant in the bush and Matty just goes, oh God, a radiation pheasant. <laughs> Comes out of eight legs, yeah, you know, three heads. Yeah. Like, holy shit! Yeah, let's go. I'm going home. Be like Falcor out of Never Ending Story. <laughs> I can hear the slow hum of a nuclear reactor, but uh, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I turn out green tomorrow with ginger hair, I'm going to kill you. So you have a nice little eclectic mix here of different campers. You got your self-built Renault Traffic. You got more of a, I suppose, like a, what do they call that? Do they call that a coach built? I think it's called a coach built, isn't it? Yeah, on like a normal van frame. That looks like a more professional done out one. Then you have your VW, that's your 60K, 40,000 pound more than it's worth one. And then that's like a proper nice old classic one there. And you got a couple of people sat outside on chairs and I think this looks like a spot. Well, thank you very much, don't mind if I do. And I think this looks like a spot where camping is tolerated. So it's radiation pheasants again. Those radiation pheasants. <laughs> Should we get in and hide from the pheasants? Yes, please. Come on. Alrighty, no messing for tonight's camp. <laughs> We're gonna get dinner on nice and quick. Not gonna mess about. We're absolutely starving. Matty? Yes. You couldn't get me the burgers out the fridge, could you, please, mate? Yep, sure. Yes, we can. Look at that. <laughs> it's as if they were made for the Ridge Monkey. For any van owners out there who are watching this video, let me know in the comments what has been your worst cooking disaster in the oh, van. Like I can imagine someone cooking like a big curry, yeah. <laughs> and they're just going all over the floor, or a pasta, <laughs> and it goes yeah. everywhere. Now, obviously, if it's happened to you quite recently, 
I apologize for laughing because something like that might be quite sore at the moment. But uh, as time goes on, <laughs> you have to look back and time laugh. Don't heals old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So leave a comment below. Have you had a major disaster in the van that's required a big cleaner? I'll be interested to know. Oh, yes. Open your baps for me. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that to a lady. <laughs> Get them baps open. <laughs> right, there's a one. Uh, two. Let's catch up on the bum. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can't beat a burger, can you? On a camp. There we go. That's one. And that's two. Oh, Look at that. Burger sauce, eggs, beef, and cheese. Do you know what it is? What? That's a nuclear burger. High five on that one. That's quick and quippy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Brendan's nuclear burger. <laughs> uh, I do make myself cringe sometimes. <laughs> oh, oh, that's done right, isn't it? Mm. Mm. After sinking the last few bites of our burgers and getting our bed set up, we decided to go for a little wander and see what we could see around this nuclear power station. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see him, but he's that little speck on the horizon. Jesus. I think we're going to be in for one hell of a view. I'm running for the view, mate. When's the last time I ran on this channel? Da -da 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 -da. There's a nuclear power station over there. Let's see. Wow. Right over there. Oh wow, this is pretty epic, I, isn't it? I, do you know what? I, I bet you're glad you came for a pee down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling my audience I fancied a bit of a walk, not yeah. going for a pee. <laughs> no, he went for a pee. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the moon right above us in the distance. Power station that's next door to us. You know, I've said it before on this channel, and I will say it again that the unexpected. Yeah. ends up being the most spectacular. <sighs> Leave a comment below, guys. What is that power station? I don't know the name of it. I would love to know, but I don't know the name of it. It's... What, what was that once then? Mate, maybe this was part of a reactor once. Maybe, maybe. But have you seen those two islands? Oh, over there in the distance? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Should we get to the edge? If you want, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, look at this. Oh, mate. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I can only assume that across the sea, out of distance, is Ireland. Yes, I would say so. <sighs> My goodness. Another free camp spot for the night. Why people pay 50 or 60 quid for these campsites is beyond me. I'll never understand it. What an amazing view. Oh, nice end to a camp, mate. That's the perfect end to a camp, that. A nice coastal sunset. Doesn't get much better than that. Right, I'm gonna get into bed and call it a night. Thank you guys ever so much for joining me for this video. We're parked right next to 
whatever power station it is on the coast of Anglesey. Join us for next week as we go and explore the South Stack Lighthouse on Hollyhead. I'll see you next week.